The Indian Air Force teased the public with a sneak peek of the advanced variant of the indigenous Astra missile in the run-up to the glorious celebration of India's Air Force Day, which took place on October 8, 2022. In the promotional video released by the Indian Air Force IAF, before the 90th Air Force Day, an Astra Mark II beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile BV Ram was launched from an Su-30 MK fighter. The missile seems to have been fired using unified common launcher attached to an Su-30 MKI fighter. This development comes a few days after the Indian Air Force commissioned the light combat helicopter Prachand as part of its Atmanirbhar Bharat self-reliant India campaign that aims to bolster indigenous defense manufacturing and boost self-reliance. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes has India managed to develop a world-class, beyond-visual-range, air-to-air missile in Astra Mark II? Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. Viewers may note that on the 27th of February, a day after the bombing of the GEM terrorist training facility in Pakistan by the Indian Air Force, a short air battle ensued between Indian and Pakistani fighters. The Indian Sukhoi 30 MKIs and other jets scrambled to intercept the incoming Pakistani fighters had found it difficult to engage the F-16s as they were outranged. The Pakistani F-16s were armed with the AIM-120C Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missiles AMRAMs, which have a range of about 105 kilometers or about 65 miles, whereas Indian fighters had Russian-made R-77 that has a range of around 80 kilometers or around 50 miles. Pakistani fighters fired several of them at the Sukhoi-30 MKIs before the latter could even get into their firing range. The Su-30 MKIs were able to jam the missiles and they fell to the ground harmlessly. Indian Air Force had displayed parts of the AIM-120C-5 fired by the F-16 during a press briefing. Though one of the Indian MiG-21, piloted by Wing Commander Abhinandan Vartaman, shot down a retreating Pakistani F-16 with a short-range R-73 missile, this was a wake-up call for the Indian Air Force. For a quick fix, India has acquired missiles like Python 5 and Meteor, but the need for an indigenous one has been felt acutely. Astra, Sanskrit for weapon, is an Indian family of all-weather, beyond-visual range, air-to-air -air missiles developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization. The DRDO developed Astra Mark I missile as well as related equipment for its launch, ground handling, and testing in collaboration with the Indian Air Force. The missile, for which the IAF has previously conducted successful trials, is fully integrated into the fighter aircraft Su-30MKI and will be gradually merged with other fighter aircraft such as Mirage 2000, MiG-29, and the light combat aircraft Tejas. Astra-1 is capable of engaging targets at a maximum range of 110 kilometers or 68 miles. On May 31st, the India Ministry of Defense MOD, signed a contract with Bharat Dynamics Limited BDL, for the supply of Astra Mark I BV Ram and associated equipment for the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy, approximately $382.96 million. Until recently, there was no technology to produce these kinds of missiles domestically. In terms of technology and affordability, this missile is superior to many other similar imported missile systems. s 
Astra Mark II is a next-generation air-to-air missile that can hit targets at a distance of up to 160 kilometers or 100 miles. To increase the missile's range and performance, a dual-pulse rocket motor has been installed on it. The motor improves the kinematics during the kill phase of the missile. The missile is primarily developed for the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy. It is thought to have exceptional maneuverability at supersonic speeds and is capable of engaging highly maneuverable targets like modern fighter jets. It is jam-resistant and has an indigenous seeker. Earlier this year, it was reported that Astra Mark II was tested in May, but no official disclosure has been made. The Astra Mark II missile could be a major addition to the Indian Air Force as it would tremendously enhance the combat capability of fighter jets. The missile has often been compared to the Chinese PL-15 and the AIM-120 AMRAAM of the U.S. Air Force. Large standoff ranges offered by air-to-air -air missiles with BVR capabilities enable fighter aircraft to eliminate enemy aircraft without being exposed to hostile air defense systems thereby establishing and maintaining airspace dominance. Additionally, India is developing the Astra Mark III, which will have a 300-plus kilometer range. This missile will be propelled by a solid-fuel-based ducted ramjet SFDR. The DRDO has tested the SFDR technology necessary for long-range air-to-air missiles numerous times over the past few years. Astra Mark III could match the capabilities of ramjet-powered MBDA's Meteor, which the IAF uses on its Rafal fighter jets and is considered the best in the world with the largest no-escape zone of any air-to-air -air missile. While India has been doing very well when it comes to ground-launched ballistic missiles, with Agni series missiles being in the forefront, it now seems to be catching up in the air-to-air -air segment with Astra series missiles. It remains to be seen how things pan out in the coming days and if Astra is able to deliver as per the potential. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.